Okuo Japan's Unit 731 was. In order to win the war, they use human bodies as biochemical weapons. A mysterious agent was injected into the captured captives. This man hanging on the wall was injected with half of agent before his death. Seventy years had passed, and his body had decayed. Seventy years ago, a man on an island found traces of Unit 731. With a keen intuition, the man thought there must be a treasure nearby. On his way to explore deeper, he saw a hidden mine, but no sooner had he stepped inside than he had seen a big hidden pit in the ground. The man stepped out of the way and fell in. Horribly, someone pulled his foot down and pulled him down again. The man struggled desperately, but to no avail. Finally, he was dragged down. Seventy years later, an explorer found a skeleton in the pit. When news got out, everyone thought there was treasure here. So more people came looking for treasure. A rich young man spent a lot of money to build an expedition team. According to the clues they knew in advance, they came to a wooden door. Behind it was the huge mine. Just as the rich kid was happy, a bully grazed his face. It turned out to be another treasure hunting team trying to get a head start. That the sides fought with each other, but because of the geographical advantage of the opposite side of the mountain higher, the rich guy's side was temporarily disadvantaged. They had to retreat to the mine to hide first. Unexpectedly, one of the team members tripped and fell. The enemy's grenade was thrown in front of him. With a loud grenade explosion, the wooden door was blown down. The exit was completely blocked. They could only continue to go inside. Looking for other exits, two of the team members found a warehouse. It was filled with expired supplies. There must be a unit of people who had spent a lot of time here before. Suddenly, a team member was startled by a giant mask. Nervous, he fired his gun. His companion advised him to relax. The team temporarily rested and adjusted in a cave to let the wounded rest. Little did they know, at this moment, there was a mysterious figure behind the goalkeeper who was staring at them intently. In order to improve the efficiency, the leader decided to divide the troops into ways. One team would stay where they were, the other team continued to look for the exit. Just then an accident happened. There was a Japanese team hidden in the mine. They had all been injected with biochemical agents and were turned into senseless, immoral monsters. A team of unknowing explorers came here in search of treasure. They soon ran into trouble when the injured team member saw something moving underground. When he was about to tell his companions, a pair of hands suddenly reached out from the ground and grabbed his feet to pull him into the ground. His teammates heard the commotion and came to rescue him, but only saw a flash strange figure below. The team jumped down to track it. They didn't realize that the cave below was open to all directions. Several people soon lost their way and got separated. Just as the two were about to evacuate, they were suddenly attacked from behind and fainted. The lost one came to another open area. There were many monsters hiding inside. The man was immediately surrounded by them. When one of them approached him, the man decided to shoot him down. He went up to check it out and found a monster with a horrible face that looked like a human being. The man was still in a state of confusion. He didn't notice that another monster was coming from behind. With a punch to knock him down and took away his gun, one approached from behind and scratched his eye. The man's vision became instantly blurred. He faintly saw more and more monsters coming out. They were slowly approaching him. The two men who had passed out woke up and found themselves caught. In front of them stood a man in a mask who spoke Japanese. He threatened them to surrender it immediately. The man jumped at him when he was unprepared. Then he knocked him down with a few punches. He lifted the mask and found that he was an old Japanese man with an old face. The two men learned from him about the agent. He had also been forcibly injected with biochemical agents. That was why he became such a monster. The rich guy and his girlfriend were also attacked by the monster. The two were defenseless. At the moment of crisis, their companions came to their rescue. This allowed them to avoid a disaster. Then they found a laboratory and saw the people being experimented on the wall. It was horrible. The rich boy even found the biochemical agent. He did not say anything. Instead, he hid it in his own body first. Then they opened the back door. The result was a shocking scene in front of them. In a secret room in the mine, as the lights came on, the people saw an army of people standing in front of them. All were biochemically successful experiments. The soldiers were standing neatly. The sense of oppression was overwhelming. One by one, they gradually woke up. The leader was holding the katana at his waist. He walked towards them. A team member shot at him, but it didn't work until the soldier cut his arm with a knife. He realized he was no match for the soldier. They had to turn around and run back. A teammate volunteered to stay behind to take care of the aftermath, trying to close the door, but was stepped to death by merciless soldiers. They fled to a cave. The pit was filled with failed experiments. It was scary as hell. The rich guy was attacked by the monsters again. The wounds on his body were even worse. Several people escaped from the tunnel and reunited with their previous teammates. The rich guy sat her on the wall and looked like he was going to die. His girlfriend took out the biochemical agent hidden before, trying to beat the dead horse, and stabbed the needle into the boyfriend's neck. At that moment, the soldiers came after them. Everyone fled in a panic. The old Japanese man came to his senses to make up for the mistakes of the war. He chose to block all the soldiers and was brutally killed. Soon several people were surrounded by monsters again. The rich guy's girlfriend saw this and took the rich boy into the next room to hide and locked the door. Then they escaped from another pathway. But in the middle, the rich guy woke up under the effect of the drug. 
He lost his mind. In less than a minute, he killed his girlfriend in front of him. On the other side, the two survivors found the entrance to the sewers. They decided to escape underwater. Unexpectedly, the soldiers followed them. After a period of submersion, the woman finally emerged from the water. She crawled to shore with all her might, thinking that she had finally escaped the monsters. However, the next moment, the soldier emerged from the water. The soldier came to shore and grabbed the woman by the neck. He lifted her up and threw her to the ground. The soldier pulled out his katana and prepared to slash it. The woman. This is the end of the film. Do you think the woman survived in the end? See you in the next video.